Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Archie in a little bit and we're going to talk about the Cambridge kids. This is not to compare who they look like, what they look like and who looks better than the other. This is because of the uh, discussion we had on Twitter with uh, Eau Deringer. I go often on Twitter to see what's being said about Meghan Markle and that's how you uh, get into arguments with people. Silly arguments over people that we actually don't know and people they get upset about. So Kate Middleton's children were all over the papers because they were at Wimbledon. And someone said that they're using the kids for clout, which is something that is not completely untrue. But another person who happens to be a fan of the royal family said that it was important to get the kids used to the public, get used to photographs and stuff like that. And then instead of letting things as they were, the person is saying that but Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will sell the pictures of Archie and Lilibet to a glossy magazine. So I intervened and I said, no, Lilibet is two years old and Archie is four. So if Meghan and Harry wanted to do that, they would have done that a long time ago. We went back and forth over this silly argument and then she ended up saying something like, you, the sugars, sugars, the name that they give Harry and Meghan's followers or fans and it's quite derogatory she said that you're attacking Kit Middleton's children all the time and that is unfair because nobody attacks Archie and the Libet. when she said that when she wrote that and I was like which planet do you live on have you seen the horrible stuff they say about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's kid not a day passes without them giving names to these kids, right? Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. I was telling that person that the only time we're talking about the Cambridges is to say that some of them look quite bored on the pictures or quite sad on the pictures or sometimes afraid when there are so many people around. And people were suggesting that it wasn't good for them to be there or be used that much for publicity for the royal family. That person was doubting that nothing negative was said about Harry and Megan's kids. The delusion in those people's head. So they're passing kids that are often supported, often defended online in the media for the victims when the true victims of the derangers are Archie and Lilibet. I'm not even going to repeat what they said here about the children, the prince and the princess, because it's so wrong. But she's so 100% sure that the only people who are being criticized are the Cambridge kids. So... What do you think? I don't even know why I'm asking you because I guess that you'll tell me the same thing as I said a few minutes ago that Archie and Lilibet are the most trolled on the internet. Tell me what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.